then sir reference was made to some audit report that is how the lady member started she said that the defense ministry was not doing its job quite well there was over provisioning there were lapses and so on and so forth she also said that the money which could have been spent for very many beneficial projects was logged up in the defense estimates and was ultimately given back now as a matter of curiosity i think the house ought to know that these comments were made mostly on the audit report which dealt with the account of 1953 to 54 namely two years back and which dealt with many cases which arose in the years 1950 to 1951 and 1952 when conditions were not normal we were then just recovering from the effects of the second world war and these cases of over provisioning come up before the audit now these are the points which have been raised in this audit report as you are aware sir there is a public accounts committee whose main function is to go into the details of all these matters and to examine them i am told that the public accounts committee is at present engaged in the task of going into all these questions and taking steps to see whether the comments made by the auditor general are satisfied or not and whether there is a sufficient explanation forthcoming or not the public accounts committee has also got to devise the steps so that those irregularities should not occur and there should be no over provisioning i may say one thing in passing because it will rather be tedious for me to take the house through the merits of each particular thing in detail please remember that there is no question of over provisioning whenever an estimate is made the finance ministry takes very great care to see that there is no over provisioning sometime it so happens that the money is not spent for certain reasons for example we may have got to pay rupees 5 crores for a certain equipment which may have been ordered from abroad and which may be due to be delivered in the financial year that is to say in 1956 to 57 but when the dates of deliveries approach the contractors or the suppliers may ask for a little extension of time and the result is that instead of the goods being delivered by march 1957 they may be delivered in may 1957 or in july 1957 this may result in the money being held back 
नाउ सच थिंग्स डू हैपन बट दैट डज नोट इंडिकेट एनी लैप्स ओन अवर पार्ट और एनी मिस्टेक ओन अवर पार्ट सिमिलरली समटाइम्स इट हैपन्स लाइक दिस इन द बिगनिंग से इन अक्टूबर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फाइव